on top of here. It lands on this. Where are we? It lands on this guy. This guy. Here. Wait. It's a different one. Didn't really work out for them. We're oh, it's a different one. I thought this was the guy that lands on the corner here. Are going to be able to work out Either way, it's to allow you through door, door, not that they went door. Trying to get some kills through the wall. Plant goes down, rad on defense, ascend on attack. It's a good flash, seeing it doesn't manage to find oh, the kill. Holy hell. This Aves guy can aim, Aves. chat. I'm seeing some nice shots from him, normally with a pistol every single time. The that's just not gonna happen. Nice Brad, pistol. Take the uh, pistol round quite convincingly here to start things off on Breeze. Chat, I have a question. Did yeah, this guy used to play for a different team? Right? Because like, I do recognize Yoru his name. Is very good at either delaying or getting a little bit of information. We're seeing a lot of the times you're actually using the ultimate to be able to try and counter the Viper's pit. He's always been on this team? Maybe from practice. Maybe this guy bangs us out in some practices. Team, but you can still see where everybody is. And then the name's very familiar. So that your team knows where to fire into the Viper's pit to be able to remove the Viper. Anubis? Oh, okay, that's... Things, okay, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's where it's from. If that first flash isn't able to slow us down, oh, that was nice. Hey, nice round from them. And it being a five versus five, Ascend have cover of those two pyramids where they're just able to continuously wrap around and use those to block the bullets as opposed to wrap. Okay, good start from them. Try to move up and push the team out. Yeah. And lacking any sort of control of how fast it comes through. Recon goes really in, mid control doesn't get shot. Uh, Ascend on again, Eco CNED has got a marshal. It is literally, like uh, it is the one marshal trick where you go a bit aggro. If you die, someone else can pick it up. You're pretty much just taking turns well, with the marshal, trying to get some picks. Make something happen with aggro wall, retake wall. And Yoru has just sent a seat TP out, so when this exec comes down, in, oh, I say exec, they are site, contact walking. This is nice to do, a load of contact walk, especially on an eco, you're taking a bit of a risk in terms of contacting. Maybe they're waiting for sound uh, to use all of their util. So I like this from Ascend, that gives them a lot of information going forward into this game that they can potentially contact out. Can monster do anything? Oh. Is it? Nah. Just nah, double checking. Is this a. Uh, surely. Surely no one commits that. <laughs> surely no one commits that much. Make sure that now they know he's this nice corner. dog. It's nice retake. They don't know about this guy close, but Roxy's 1 HP. Do they know this next player is just round here, though? It doesn't matter. Ave is able to hit that shot. Schneider getting two. Damn. Clean. Clean, 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 clean. I liked, uh, I liked the util here. Yeah, this was good. They took their time. They made that retake happen quite sharpish. Okay, first of all, we can't blame us out. <laughs> One. No one dies till they get the full bonus. Let's circle this guy. Let's just see if he rebuys armor. He shouldn't do, but let's just see if he does. Pretend to be a clone oh, yeah. and just walk past yeah. everybody. Sometimes you just add a little bit of spice to sell it a little bit easier, you know, walk into a couple of walls. This could be a pretty good bonus. They they invest holy hell they're going for it. They invested a lot really considering. So let's see, we get three heavy armors and that's about it. Two light arms. Two light arms, seven bullets, and then like we said, just four. Okay. Crollo, I'm pretty sure. Tell me he didn't upgrade. In on that full wide good his armor for this again. Okay, no, he would have just buy, okay. Which just is why they're nice starting to challenge that space for mid. They know that those rifles are going to be able to absolutely decimate if a player is trying to hold up a little bit too aggressively towards nest, and they will be able to take full control. Dude, that's an make it a that's a big kill. Pushed all the way down. On, so bonus round, took a bit of a risk. Take, pushed all the way down, kills the guy uh, over towards, towards pretty much just wanting to hold on to tube. This is nice. So they have traded the B site, but they traded it for two kills basically. However. Let's see what this retake's like. We have the retake wall as well, so this is nice. Um, this is a bit different to the one that Bacon used to like to use. This is an odd one, to be honest. It's a really odd wall. What the hell is going on? He's hidden heads. That's two for him already. Oh, but Aves is quicker with the Guardian. Doing so well there. Roxy able to take out Schneider. 5v3 into a 2 on 2. two at this point. Back just sitting towards the back of sight, waiting for somebody to come around this corner. Oh, once back. Again, that was not nice to watch. Time to hit that headshot with the Guardian. <gasps> and they need to push in. Oh, he passes Wow, okay. Nice. This guy's sick, again. by the way. This guy's great. Dude is not missing. I, the they have enough time for the diffuse as well. They win the bonus. Now, two people stay alive. Yeah. 
Good, good choice. Got two rifles here it's, as well. This is a little system, bit a worrying for SN. Dude, nice, nice push against these. It. They weren't. They were not expecting this. Dude, Ascend, Ascend looked very loose on this round, chat. They looked very loose on this round, not gonna lie. Yeah, he's he's looking like a bit of a standout, at least from this team, for sure. He looked good in the Fnatic game, even though the score wasn't convincing. I mean, the score was convincing, I guess, for Fnatic. Recon goes down, bottom off, gets shot. Recon top mid doesn't get shot, dog checked, uh, dog checked all of this, so... Good information comes out here, you might see a rotate from... This flash hits no one, you might see a rotate from Yoru. Did miss his TP here for sure as well. Ascend have got themselves into good positions. I think. But once again, I mean, Rad aren't really too worried about taking fights early on and stopping them from taking positions. They're happy to just hit those shots. Maybe, maybe it's intentional. Ariel okay, no, this is what I actually think he meant to do. Favor. Schneider <laughs> caught out by Monster there, but okay, not in a way sense. that forces him to move out of position. Monster just going to give up this location here on tube, head towards mid, so they can join his team over towards B. Just starting to make a move right here. Recon oh my god, he missed it. Finds out where Aves is, and Cned will find one with the blade storm. The pyro gets out of there after getting a kill. On a little bit worried with how long that takes him to TP out, but doesn't get punished. Oh. Okay, we're back into a back into a retake situation. Down Spike's not down yet. When it does, down. Chamber can start rotating. Uh, Cned can win this. Come up against Rad here. Cned can win this. Team just holding round corners, both of them. Oh, oh. Not with great referee, but there we go. Cned hits his first. Head of the retake. Brad's taking it quite slow. They're going for a lot of different angles here. They're gonna have a really good crossfire set up in a minute. Cena might be overwhelmed by all of the angles that he's gonna have to face. Fragment digging in his head to So yeah, much consideration as to where that was gonna go. Cheers. Be okay. One body shot. No time. Okay, nice from. Oh, honestly, it w it was nice from. Um, the kill that Cena got over towards here was really important. And then maybe we could say that the retake took a little bit too long, to be honest with you. It's not convincing, but it worked out just. Okay, now we get a full buy. Three one. See if they can get a few in a row. Once again, showing off his uh his skills there. Yeah, man, that was that was so close. It could have gone either way towards the end there. Rad mm. took their sweet time getting towards site, and although it gave them better positioning moving into those fights, it did mean that they had almost zero time to uh, get rid of the SM players and get on that spike. So maybe they'll think about okay, making smoke. something happen a little quicker. The tube, no one now. there. Now Dog going out as well. Dog He's is gonna see the chamber. Uh, he knows as well that Rad aren't gonna have an All coming out as well. Guardian again gonna be coming out. On the side of Depiro, on that Yoru, very early defensive by Pizzle. Damn, <laughs> observers flicking through. Ascend once again into biting in to that Guardian. Challenge towards mid or rotate Holy towards B, but Straight Depiro up double dinks. So they go for a, go for a two man push over towards here. To and we get a trade a coming in. Sky's on his own, all comes out. These two actually have a pretty good cross. These two had a pretty good crossfire. Aves, Aves has done great. If he can somehow get another, he's done everything. He should probably try and stay alive, though. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. Are the pings on point? Are the pings on point? We can spam this. They're able to get up that player, but he dies immediately, and Quello just nice takes round. advantage really of that nice situation. Round. Hey, and being this is a good sign for them. By piece here. Aves getting so many kills for this team. Ascend mm -hmm. absolutely unable to do anything about it. Yeah, Aves, Aves is just like, like, winning so many rounds. He did, he did insane here. Crossfire was good. Uh, the chamber at least, even though the chamber instantly went down, <laughs> just at least uh, took the first point of contact. Holy hell, Chad, they're shouting so much. That's sick, they're so pumped for this. Eco going in, uh, we have monsters, all oh, Roxy's all. And it very quickly falls apart for Ascend, even with that Null Command still pulsing on through. Cenid has to actually take time to get Starkso back into that fight, and that means that Rad, with that rotation, are able to catch the jet out before they can try and turn the tables and get that Smoke and Window Mist. It's going to be an Eco now coming out for the side of Ascend, Cenid having already used 
those lives a couple of runs back, not going to be able to have them in play this time around. So for Rescend at the moment, it very much is just Flash into door, down peaks, TP coming out for the rotate again. The Sheriff can look for that one dink headshot kill. But that's really going to play into Sans hands, sitting on this chamber with that operator. Absolutely nothing that you have to be concerned okay. about. Pretty much just straight up retake it. They can, they can kind of work it. You can kind of work out how these guys are going to be playing from just a wall that comes up. Crollo able to take out the first player. Depyro gets involved as well. Hunter's Fury is good. It taps one. And gets that kill off, no, not before Cena can get it with the Okay, I was monster. going to question the ult getting one put one into this. Let's look at this Sova before I say anything. Are they close enough to be able to pick up some weapons? I don't think so. So now, oh, Schneider coming around from behind. This could be absolutely massive for this team. Oh, Roxy no. has no idea. A couple of shots fire out that gives away his location, but he still manages to get that shot. And as Roxy okay. turns around, Sand is there with the Cena with a spike. Sure. Probably. <laughs> look at the, <laughs> look at the Yoris. <laughs> By the dimensional drift of the pyro. Yoro literally ulted to get the landing. speed boost, pops out early once the storm turn in the corner and actually gets the kill. That was kinda cool. Yeah, they're so good at just didn't even want didn't even want to let them plant here. They're very heavy wherever the wall is, they're very heavy playing retake there. They're playing so far back. So as soon as you see this wall, you kinda know how they're playing. But obviously when you're in the server trying to adjust um in real time, it's very hard. Let's see if they actually change it up here. Are they going to actually, actually play on site as well? Oh, I love this from Rad. We're changing uploads. So then even even my theory on it right now gets uh, completely nullified after watching this round. So this is good from them. Oh, they have just straight up denied. Oh, that was good, though. They were one away from some ult. I didn't check what it was. And they actually had a denial of orb. So that looks pretty cool. Use a lot of ult into... Oh, what's this going to be like? Oh! And push them into him. Well, Roxy able to take down the aggressor Dude. there from Rad, but now they need to move in towards site. I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed so far with them on this map. They look great on this map. You're fast. You're fast behind. What's this jaw like? Observer, come on, observer. What are we doing? We're sleeping. The force is good for Vakil able to find one. And the spike is down. They can hold these angles. Still, Roxy, he's doing so much work. Sand will find the first player. Gets out of the way of that knife. Can he find any more? Sand, he'll take down Starzo and oh. Roxy! And oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe he wins this. Like also, Rad observers, if you ever watch this, always Sand stick in the one... The always stick on the one person in the 1B, be whatever it was. That's criminal. Was I cannot believe he's won that, though. And he's not expecting it. He hears the op shot. He thinks he has longer for the reload to come through, so he goes for the peak. Dude, they can't get around. That's that's crazy. Oh my god. Mini, get down there. I'm telling you, you you do better than this. Start observing the games. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here from Ascend. This team has not lost a game here in this Superdome event. It looks like they may be losing <laughs> and it, quite spectacular And it forces them back onto an around. eco. We have two guns. I mean, it is always breeze where this kind of thing happens. <laughs> <Sense, sense, trap. laughs> Do they every single time they uh, they try and have every single time they're trying to punish this? They use the all. Uh, it's unlucky. They a little bit off from what we work. saw. The but. one round they had, it was CNED. I, I at least like the attempt. This is a bit too much from Abaz. This is, an, this is a retrievable gun. It's, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This... I actually think Ascend... I mean, whatever. Whatever, whatever. I'm being too critical. Monster has an op. They could switch if Monster wanted to ult. Monster does want to pick. Like the fact that they're going double behind, they still have the drone. Oh, he. Nice round from him. Monster finds the free kills necessary. Ascend with the op will be able to put another point Really in nice run from him. It's hero play. This is why you never I, again, we, I'm seeing so many aggro rounds against uh, Ecos just like. You can do, I can do better, says Monster. That. They're so calm. <laughs> They're so calm with their calm. <laughs> it, it, just, it just means there's a gap and there's retrievable guns. I don't know. It's a big pet peeve of mine, people um, 
I don't know. A big pet peeve of mine is just playing like this against Ecos. We saw Fnatic do it. It kind of uh, it, it looked a little bit weird because they then they had to try to protect the guns and then they lost. Um, and then this kind of made them an opening and they were guns to get. Entirely smoking off any impact that chamber oh, ultimate could potentially have. But still able Keep to an eye on Fak here. They're fully aware that that flank is coming through, but yeah, Schneider huh. just hits that shot first. Aves onto Vak. They're winning well. a lot of angels it means against that the Viper's Ascend. Pit, yes, it may be up, but if Brad have control of everything outside of the Viper's Pit, now they know where the Viper is playing in the Viper's Pit. Maybe they can just spray this one down. Cena finds one. Aves taking yeah, down the two Antiquos are. Uh... Time is ticking down, but Monster is flashed. Down goes the Viper's Pit. Starzo so, sometimes, finding sometimes I don't know what Sanders you got. Yeah, it's tree. very much what you said, Mini. Sometimes I don't know what you guys uh, do it. You don't want to let it go. It was a close round little, little bit, um. A little bit of a time thing again here with this with this uh, retake. A little bit too slow. Even though they are coming in with the flanks and the flanks are often working and they're getting the kills, every single time there's some time pressure coming in. So Rad, even though they are doing good with their, um, you know, they're doing good with, with their lux and stuff going behind, they probably need to speed it up a bit. Yeah, it's twice now. Time is against them, and Rad that forces them to the eco as well. Really hmm. trying to buy up into the operator so many There's a few so people that are close to all to so uh, Roxy and Stark, so have this as well. So we'll see if they use them, so this into the eco. They do have the wall here, uh, actually playing on side this time. They kept this clean. I like this a lot from Ascend though. Uh, making sure that the KO is swinging fast. Like all the protocols here for this round, even though it's like, even though it's very, very easy to do this right, it's just nice to see that they did do it right with everyone swinging the corners like fast. He gets the nade off here, he's turning the corner, trade's coming in, he's always swinging up, able to get him up. And then when they are getting up, everyone's swinging. Couple more weapons would be lovely. Yeah, this was good. This this was uh, yeah, this was super simple, but everything fundamentally was like great. Clawing their way back into this game. Yeah, very good. Okay, big Byron comes in now. This is this is gonna be interesting. There's still a chance here for for Rad to get eight four in the half, which would be great for them. From that defense, so if you take away the ability to be able to use that utility and you just move forward and bruiser past them, you're gonna be able to take full control of that. Side. Yeah. Co coach is doing good. Uh, Mini said in this tournament you can have one pause each half, so um, you get two pauses, but you can only have one pause per half, so I think using this now makes sense. Uh, you can definitely see a world where they get eight here. This is a big buy round, so good time with the timeout. There's, uh, there's a few ults that they can use here. Your ult especially is, like, is so good. Like, your ult is actually like, really nice. Heading forward two games, giving him a second. Oh, definitely warmed up. We haven't seen anything incredibly convincing, but that entry was definitely very good compared to what else we've seen this game so far. Definitely going to need to see a little more of that if they want to be able to bring this one back because um, if, if, if the aggression isn't working on defense or if the aggression isn't working on attack, I, uh, I don't know if the aggression will help on defense for them. And I feel like, honestly... I, 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 like a, a, attack is kind of a little easier on Breeze, especially with the kind mm. of team you have with Ascend. Uh, very aggressive, very good at being able to make space for your team. Okay, alts over to war. Okay, defensive all over towards here. I like oh, I like this gives them a lot of space to hide between. Yoru insta pops the all. Creates a lot of pressures behind. <laughs> That's just a straight up spam. Dude, look at this guy. Monster's crazy right now. Monster is so crazy. While all this was going on and they felt like they had locked everyone in, Monster decided just to walk over towards B. This is where the Yoru was. I kind of like the idea with the Yoru, where they did a lot of pressure here. Right, did a lot of pressure here, created a lot of question marks where he could be, but then he TP'd back. The monster just took the time and he's kind of just not, he's literally just ruined everything. Dog goes in, clears some of this, but this is nice. Monster is just winning them a lot of rounds at the moment. You have the for free at the very least, get that spike down. Rad, 
<laughs> They've done it once or twice already, and there goes. They have no map control though, so this one's going to be really hard. This one should be should be impossible. Look, good thing for them right now is they have this smoke and time pressure. Luckily, the hunter fury that'll find one pick. Schneider just waiting here, seeing if he can put some pressure on them from this side. The rest of the team has to make their way in quicker. So we're running out of time here, Rad. They need to get on that They have been taking shortly. pretty long with their uh, retakes. Taking your time getting into one site. Schneider takes down Starzo. Monster is waiting around the corner to get that pick, but the trade is there. Damn, okay. Polo, Roxy finishes it out just about. It's another close round. Yeah, their retakes, their retakes could do... The thing is, as well, chat, they always have good positioning on them. They always have people behind, but uh, it is just a little bit slow with some of the decision-making that gets made in, in like the other choke points. Like, I, the flank, the flank's doing everything fine. Every time I watch these, the flank's doing everything fine. They're creating pressure. But, but I, I would actually say that the people coming from the other two positions, so if I use this as an example, these guys coming from these positions aren't kind of realizing that this pressure allows them to come out a bit. Like, from him. They're the ones that have to speed it up more. Kind of similar over towards A when, like, we're having a flank here. Like, these guys need to go a lot, a lot faster. Ult comes in while the ult's going and they're dodging it, they decide to just swing with this. No way. Sand goes down to 5 HP here, so this is a weird round. That puts the Sand in a really awkward position. Can they get themselves out of it? Monster coming through from double doors now, but it's being watched down by Schneider here. We know he can hit those headshots as soon as somebody comes through. Is there a chance we see Alfair on Cypher? Just waiting now. I mean, yeah, the, the buffs, the buffs coming in. Spike and get in Chad, it's gonna be. I'm, I'm so confident it's an over buff, no matter what. As as it's the other, que the, the other question. The other question that comes along with the cipher buff is going to be: heading back Does a um, fake plant. does chamber get touched at all? Give him a second. Down goes the spike for real. This is this is a bit of a shame. This round, in terms of they kind of wanted monster to plant so that he could use his ult, but he's in such a good pause that they didn't want to. They didn't want to risk it. It's not really feasible. Dude, monster is playing unreal. Gets a kill. Uses the ult that I was talking about. Now we have a two-man flank over towards this. Cena is not expecting it, even though every single round they've been flank. Players, but there's sand coming around from behind. They can start this aggression happening now, and they do need to start it now. Tapara is sitting above this viper's pit, just waiting for somebody to push outside of it. But he'll push inside of it himself. Oh, chat. Monster's doing all the work. Chat. If if teams don't pick up monster after this performance, then I don't know. He looks so good. He looks like their best player. They here. They've arrived. Yeah, this is the ascend that we sort of were expecting to see coming through, and I'm really still a close half. That we're getting to see again, similar to Fnatic, this could potentially be the last time that we see these five players in the same formation. So it's lovely to get to see ascend really synergizing with each other. Yeah, it took a while for them to synergize four and one exactly at the beginning, and it looks like Rad here, Moxie. They're losing out on that steam. They had that momentum. He is missing the Nest lineup a lot, though. That's true. He is missing it. Did he yeah, always so used to miss it as well? I remember the amount of games we used to watch. That defense, they're really relying on some of those flanks coming through from that Sova. And you can normally pull that off with something like a Neon or a Jet or even a Chamber because you have that ability to just bypass the distance. So you get the flank off, you find that kill, and then you rejoin your team without having to worry about how long... I think Monster can play a lot. You talk about Natanzi, you talk about Monster, yeah? I think he can play. I think he can play a good amount of agents. He seems, he seems to be pretty smart. Does look a little bit better in Viper than others, so I'll give you that. And a lot of the time, even though we see the flank being successful in finding that first pick, by depriving your team of an extra number in that fight, they are actually falling flat in the front lines, which is where Ascend really likes to play up close and personal. Yeah, in a sense, they had this really aggressive comp coming into this Twiggy specifically for that attacking side of things, which is where they start out of. We're now going to be heading towards the defense. Their comp, once again, it's really aggressive. Mox Moxie mentioned it herself, that aggression from Ascent is kind of what breaked Rod a little. Do you think they'll be able to replicate that? What can they do on the attacking side with the comp that they have available? I think they'll be a little unhappy that they didn't six, get six. more rounds there on the attack, that they don't have as, as nice as a safety net to work off that they'd have won. Yeah. But I think there are ways you can make you know, a defensive side work aggressively, definitely. I think definitely uh, Ascend are, are one of the teams that has the quality to do that. So it's very mm -hmm. possible to come back into this one. But if Rad play this one well, I feel like it's going to be difficult for them. You know, I think the attackers have the inherent advantage. Ascend are going to need to really bring something yeah. special out and Rad are going to have to make some mistakes. The first pistol round went in favor for Rad. They then went... Yeah, I get what you're saying. Metas can change pretty fast, oh, though. Moxie 
how can they replicate that on the attack? Because that was the defensive side of things. Now, Ascend warmed up. You're on a different side of the map. What can they do? I think you really have to punish the fact that Ascend are a very aggressive team. And you have to anticipate that that probably, especially out of the gates on the pistols, going to be getting aggressive. So you need yeah. to anticipate the fact that CNN's definitely on that jet, going to be coming a little bit out of position. That potentially players from Ascend are going to be... You're on attack, like maybe. We'll see. The thing is, Yoru is a little bit limited. You kind of, everyone kind of knows the playbook of Yoru. And like where the, where the most common TPs are. So you maybe have to use a little bit different. We'll see. You're gonna have a much easier time. I definitely think that, again, the TP backside of B is pretty hard. Um, not backside, let me try and draw B site. This is the pillar. This is the little... Honestly, you know, you figure out where that this is the little thing. And then suddenly, let, me, let me just fully draw it. Obviously, there are two uh, kind of, you know, operator anchors for... Uh, and then you have like the lane here. As easy as that, but right. when you figure out where um, CNET is playing, either this, the TP that lands here, you can push him that TP is nice. With your initiators, like that TP is actually pretty hard. There's not many places that you can watch so this. You have to be like, you know, um, well, and they think about what you have to be doing. like here or back a site to actually get this. That one's pretty nice. But back this, here we yeah, are. It's pretty strong. In breeze once again. Okay, Ascent pistol goes in. Dog going out. Oh exactly boy, the chamber's been spotted. Wall goes in. Tame's been <laughs> chamber's been tagged. The yeah, full freedom to get onto this site here. Right now on attack. Uh, I mean, they do ascend on defense. Good recon that, that no one is shooting. All of the aggression that is there for Ascend, but that's one of those points of aggression you do need to worry about. Back on that chamber is going to be able to find first blood. Sand goes down to that. Stocks is 4 HP. I feel so sorry for this planter on site. Good plant, though. Manages to get out. Aves has done great. Keep an eye on the Yoru. Dude, Aves is great. Okay, now Krolo just has to take time. He's going to hear this guy coming. Not going to hear this guy coming behind. Okay, is this a plant and he's on top of the wall? He has a great angle on the spike from oh, and then he TPs back into main. That's so sick, but this might be close timing-wise. Either way, time is ticking down. If he can get around this corner, he stops him from defusing. Oh, and there's no time left. It's well played. From wow, Empire. that is no that is so Monster. nice. Angle they plant in this so corner. Good. He goes short. He goes yeah, into the top of the rush. wall, so you can Isn't see it from this way? angle. Little it's sliver from the door. Gets the first kill, then has his TP here. Takes it and has another angle. This was actually sick. Like this was actually really, really good. Look at it. As you can see, that That's a sick pistol. I might do a YouTube on that. It was so good. Not expecting Depiro to shoot them right in that spine. Yeah. As Brad walk away with pistols. I love it. I love when teams throw Let me write it down. Curveballs. <laughs> yeah. These weird age compositions in terms of either that Yoru or the Phoenix. Damn, that was cool. That is definitely one of those teams that try to make it work. And when it does, it works in style. Yeah. In fact. Found out has to move. <laughs> that, was, that was actually Says so that good. Flash food that was actually like a good use of Yoru. I'm worried that they don't win this round, but is there. Oh, sorry, not mid control, but tube control is there for Brad. <laughs> Still taking a couple of casualties. They will get Lime. The What's up, Lime? How you doing, Four dude? Remain. Three months in the slow club. Here, Thanks for using your prime on me. Hope you're doing well. Back out of that one. They're hoping that CNEC can get something done here with that marshal, but no, nothing at all. Roxy tries to get something. In the okay. form of kills, manages to get one, but no more than that. Rad, keep control. Again, just using that. Maybe no. Really maybe maybe. Very much on the maybe next week as well. I wonder when Mini's actually back. Angles, which is exactly what you want to do on the A side, right? You don't want to let that attacking team have full control. You really want to push them back towards somewhere like cave or shop. You You're back on Sunday. What's everyone's schedule for like next week? Neil, if we were doing Coach Potato stacks, can you play next week? You're free next week? Oh. Mini's free, you're free. Okay. We can play until Thursday, that's fine. We can make that work. Cupid might be busy. Oh no, we can do it in the day because Cupid's on NA schedule. That's pretty good. On a full buy round. Himmy. Really Himmy might. One on this one. We might have a full five. That would be lovely for them. But they still don't know really what's going on with Brad at this point. The algorithm will figure out at least something. One player 
over towards elbow here. Nothing more than that. Time's getting a little bit low. They've done some pressure over towards B. They now go back. Knife is cleared all the tube. Not much pressure. As we can see, they can go out here, but they have no wall. So, CNED has just a straight line here. So, the observer should go to CNED now, and we get to watch it all unfold. Although there is one towards double doors as well. And they displace him. Oh. That's a good opening kill, cool. but it is going to be Decker or able to use that gate crash and immediately not have to worry about the angle that CNET holds to be able to get onto that site and get that spike down. But giving up control of mid has allowed Vac to move through double doors and allows Ascend now to start pushing and nipping at all of these different angles, forcing Rod back. One enemy remaining. It's a good flash. <laughs> he flashed and then TP'd enough, out. Though. Let's get damage. Yeah, that's not a bad round, but I agree. Uh, I think you take that. I think that's absolutely fine. 8 7, good bonus, 3 people got taken out. You got full buyer this round. I thought it was good. Don't take any damage. So things could have gone a lot worse for this team, uh, but they're going to find it a little difficult to buy up into this next round. Yeah, All right, Mini, enjoy, enjoy. Good luck in your game. Would be for, however, oh, you're playing Aesis team, aren't you? Is a rank win. Indeed. So, <laughs> we take those. Like, in uh, the immortal words of every single one of my quick play games, we take <laughs> those. Well, how are the games? They're pretty good. The, uh, oh, go. the game yesterday was exciting, I'm not going to lie. The, they do the Geek A Fnatic the game yesterday was actually like really fun to watch. Did a little too well on that round. For Fnatic are looking a little bit better. One. And it's just rad that are playing incredibly cautiously. Despite having two of these uh, initiators, they do not have... Okay, this is the big one really, here. So the good know, thing for... Dude, good thing for them is they've kind of prepared for this first big buy round. Right? In terms of economy, like we've only so got three people that can... Little, uh, sorry, we've only got... To create space. You can really let's think, think it'll be one... Kind of it'll be one nine, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll say so that this guy can't buy. Really, really do need to be so in terms of economy, only one person can buy out of Ascend when they lose this. So you want to see all three of these ults getting used. Your ult and attacks are really nice. Your ult combined with this, these two combined is great. Even these two combined is great. There's a lot of combos here that they can do. Looking like a split over towards A. The wall hasn't been used there. There we go. Wall out. That's one ult. Are we going to see a Sova ult? Sova ult comes in as well. Huh. The timing on that TP was incredible. This was a really nice hit. Oh. It was... This was great, chat. Just straight up. Just it, it was. It was obvious, right? It was obvious, but everything was like everything was in order. All the ults got used, apart from the Yori ult, the TP. I just like the strat in general. It was pretty cool. So it was nice. They used the right. They used the. Uh, they used the right ultimates at the right time. This was nice. Even though there were five people here, they won everything. Really <laughs> Alpha, what's up, Alpha? How are we doing? Because they had to buy up. Good luck, my friend, as well. Good luck, good luck. They now have absolutely nothing that to was a, That was a great, that was like a textbook round, honestly. Course, and now they go back, into an eco, like we said, only monster can buy. He puts a judge into this scene, what damage he can do. He's won them enough rounds the as it is. Position. They can't let him have this. They at least didn't let him have it free. He goes down to 17 HP. I still liked it. They at least had two people ready to punish it, even though they didn't properly punish it. Well, I mean, yeah. It was a punish. Not have to worry about things like an operator or a tour de force now they group back over towards here. And but here we go. What can the Sova do? Side. Give me the Sova. Give me... Oh, oh boy. He, he got traded though. Trade it's good information that they come in here. And that is the There's Viper that's down. So there's no wall. CNED low HP. So he wanted to freely use... Wanted to freely use his right click. So we can't be too angry about that. This is a weird jewel though. There we go. We Monster to the retaken with a judge. Through. Somehow, though, the Zen have made this round work quite well for themselves. Last player, Monster over towards double doors. That bro going to use his utility to get in towards. He tried to right click. Yeah, it, it, it made sense. He was 19 HP. He had to try and get a. This is the primary. This is going to be a very difficult retake here. He had to try and get an insta just kill. To pick up a weapon here in tube, and then get things done later on, but. Depro, so Depro looks no great on the Yoru. I'm just gonna have to hold this one down and maybe look for an exit. Like I thought we were gonna see the normal around. stuff that um, this place? The that like Angel was bringing Moving out, but actually, 
I'm a little it's bit a worried up. for them now, though. He's closed enough space that the judge. Hey, I'm impressed with this chamber. He played. He played off everyone. He chamber had a round of just trades, right? He traded. He traded the awkward jaw that we saw in tube, and he traded this very, very well. So he played off his teammates. Uh, he played off his teammates. It's great. Not the way we this That's the guy I was talking about. We knew it could potentially be close, right up so strong in that mana region. I believe that number two ranks and rolling that Yoru has really been a curveball for Sen to attempt to deal with us. They just haven't really been able to find that aggressive playstyle that we know this team. Your ranks, they call it baiting. Nah, that, that, that one's not baiting, but yeah, they do. In rank, in ranked, a lot of things get called baiting, honestly. You can see that waiting for Rod to actually be the one to dictate when these fights kick. The Yoru is good. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking what the Yoru is bringing. Just a little bit of ants. The bar got set very high when the when the pistol round came out. It was a it was a great pistol round. He commits into that fight. Unfortunately for Sen, just losing that. Money's getting a little bit out of control as well. Sen's gonna be able to use his ult here. So we're five five four three and three and then one. Money's pretty good here, so Sen's, it's a good time for a timeout. They need a lot in a row. This is important. Curlo, he could get this all potentially. Monster, if Monster gets a kill. If you're not able to slow that attacking team down so that you can get that rotation, you're always going to be outnumbered in those engagements. Hmm. Sen using that timeout to really think about what they want to do. In this round, the Tour de Force comes out this time from Rad. The Hunter's Fury is available for Roxy if he wants TP to top off. Try and get back Wow, crazy. The okay, not that crazy. Recon. Recon was so here far, first. So they did. Very good at punishing yeah, this was nice. Of did, their Yoru stuff's good. Their Yoru They've stuff's really good. A bit on They've already made their way all the, the Recon came in fast. They waited for it to do a pulse. Then he knew that it was spawn. completely clear to go to. This could be perfect timing here as Roxy comes around. And they just the don't corner. expect it. It's an easy pick for the pirate. The, the, chat, this, stuff, now, this the stuff's really, they, they look really good Rudo, on this map. On all sides of monster trying to take back some control monster there, too, is trying his best to bring this back. Three on three. Manages to make it a three v three again. I feel a bit sorry for He's monster. Business, He's doing great. Ah, uh, this angle. angle. If the chamber carries on holding this. Ah, oh, a shame. The chamber could have held that and got a lot of info, but he's so scared of window that it is the right decision to move back. Um, what does Monster decide to do? He was tempted to wrap, but... Okay, this is a massive 3-on-3. Three three. One flash, this guy can get info, and he has another flash in 10 seconds now, so... And this comes up, they could chain this pretty well. I think the... I'm a little bit worried that this guy's going a bit too aggro, but... They were not expecting it. That counts. That's fine. They slowed them down a bit, bought a bit of time. Nice move from the chamber. Not planted for him, though, so he has to kind of swing, and this guy needs to stay alive. Nice. Every single time, the chamber with the trades. Hey, they, they're playing this great. They look but they look better on this map. Whatsoever, Rad. Able to just deal with Ascend's push there and put Ascend back into the gutters of an eco here. And it is just well played at every turn. <laughs> Not dominating Ascend at any point, but just making sure they have an answer for every single thing they do. <laughs> Ascend now, once again, really... One trick. By it. Trying to fall by it. Know, the, one, I'm it not sure, they, but they, uh, they, they, they at least are impressing me on this map. Money's weird. Ascend have gone for it. We've got CNED. CNED is just on a frenzy only. And it does mean Monster that uses his all. It's going to be relying on that Hunter's Fury very early on to try to tag out some damage to a lion monster. But to move through that fight, this clip. What is this by? As it is going to be Decker. You're coming in. To be able to bypass the Viper's pit and call out all of the positions of the Sentinel. <laughs> Dude, I felt so sorry for seeing it there. Okay, so now they have to really heavy focus so on this. They're going to know there's at least one here. Now, it's still a really weird round for Rad. Rad. That's great. As long as he can survive here. Oh, uh, th this was smart. This was really, really side. smart. Just doing it back to them. Um, plant isn't down though. Yoru is holding the edge of this, so Yoru should get that kill. That was nice. Spike is down. Uh, it's all up to Stark, so.
Starzo though he has control of Spike is by himself completely unless Monster, Monster left to Monster takes position. down his ult probably from leaving it for time but then goes Trying straight back into the position where it Trying was so they could that could be that side. could work out pretty well they might not expect him here Starzo kind of has to get one of these kills looking for control of two Double swing two doesn't even need to here. don't even need to swing this Nice hero goes in, they're gonna play this two on two. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, immediately will be able to kill that spike planter. It is down on the ground, they know Wow, okay. This chamber this chamber's getting important kills. They're not the flashiest, but every single time they're important. Five chances. This is a good round again. I like this. The Viper all its form was really good. They are playing together, they didn't expect the timing of this walk, but I'm actually I'm actually impressed with them on this map. They look great. Probably the, probably one of the best, if not the best Euro usage on this map I've ever seen. Hovercent who eventually are forced to leave the Viper's Pit of their own hand to try to keep a hold of that spike as it was an absolute heel turn of Orion's as Rod pulling out that time out one away from taking this series Time out, they, they, they do not want to let this one slip Five chances, making sure they got it, they know they're going to have a weirdish buy It's not the worst, two Guardians, all Light Arms though, three Guardians, sorry um, yeah, I, I liked how they, um, I like how they dealt with this Viper all. It was really cool. of stopping power on that defense, just holding one of those angles. Play to the fact that Rod, to try to counter that Viper's Pit, had to throw in a Viper's Pit of their own. So the only thing that can displace out that Operator early on is either the Seekers or the Hunter's Fury, which should give CNED, in theory, time to be able to... They have some options. One away. One away. Let's see if uh, Ascent have anything. Let's see if Ascent have anything to punish this orb because this orb is going to get taken. They might as well use it. Who cares? What are we thinking? Sova. So I'm not sure which they actually are going to think has better usage on this map. Having to choose between a couple of abilities and weaponry. Half armor, a lot of guardians coming through, but Cned does have an operator in his hand. Insta dog. That's how badly they want this orb. Insta dog. Sova's going to get the orb. Sova gets the ult. We'll take a mid control with left A. We've got four man tube, but two people that can TP out. Clear out a couple areas. No shots. Four man tube. They open this. He TPs onto site. He entries out like that. Recon here. Honestly, honestly, that's yeah. It's not too bad. He 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 uses it before the door opens. Then the door opens. Then it goes out through the bottom. It's hey, Chad. This is this is by far the best Yori usage I've ever seen on this map. Krollo's just gonna walk through this smoke. Monster is there. 2v4 into a 2v3. A 1v3. Wow, they're chat. Convincing. Like, actually convincing. The Yoru looked great. The Yoru looked great. The Yoru actually looked great. I was, 